And these guys, when it comes to territory, man, they are pretty good. Let's check them out. <laughs> Woo! Easy, guys, easy, guys. And there is no sign of battery equalizer. There has to be a battery management system right here. Otherwise, the batteries are all gonna die off. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's the Home Tour Series. And today, we're at Aton in Ogun State. Trust me, it took us a while to get here. Pretty far from Lagos, man. But we eventually got here. Right in the solar systems, we are here to exercise the demons. <laughs> All right, so we have the gentleman who owns this property. He said, I've tried a lot of people, but I'm getting the same results. My solar system isn't working properly. It goes off every 12 midnight religiously every day. I need some solutions. I need some answers. I'm desperate because right here, we don't have power. So you guys can see from around this place, it's pretty far. It's in the deep, deep, deep wild of Ogun State. All right, so if you want your system checked out, you know what to do. Give us a call. You can write us through our website. You can send us a DM. However, just trying to reach us because the moment we walk through your doors, your problem is solved. All right, so I'm a lover of dogs, guys, and these guys have Doberman Pinchers here. Are you guys ready to see it? You're going to love it, guys. I love these dogs. Don't mess with them because the sizes are small because these guys are pretty dangerous. Their job is to guard this environment and ensure that no intruder comes in. And these guys, when it comes to territory, man, they are pretty good. Let's check them out. <laughs> Woo! Easy guys, easy guys, easy guys, easy guys, easy guys, easy guys, come on. Man. If you are ready, let's go check out what this solar system looks like. My man. Okay, so it's a pretty beautiful place that you have here. It's quite very cool, quiet, serene. My kind of house, you know, because I don't like noise. <laughs> All right, so God, I love this place, okay? So let's go check out what the solar system looks like and see why there seems to be a problem here. All right, so you guys, come on, come on. Let's go check it out. Okay. This is what the solar system looks like, all right? So it's your traditional solar system. Here you have 16 batteries, okay? So these are all flooded lead acid batteries, 16 units of it. And then we have the desktop version, Luminos 10kVA right here, pushing the powers into the house, doing its job, 16 batteries. And then we have two charge controllers. Um, and it seems to be a high voltage charge controllers. And then here we have the breaker boxes that um, is housing the surge protectors and of course the MCBs, the DC surge protectors, and of course the uh, grid communicators, just the box that houses everything pretty much. And here is the changeover. So I wanna find out exactly why this system keeps going off. What do you guys think is the problem? All right, so let's look at a couple of things that were done wrongly here in this particular setup, okay? Um, the first thing that jumps at me is the fact that this is suicide. Suicide in the sense that you can have 16 batteries and there is no sign of battery equalizer. There has to be a battery management system right here. Otherwise, the batteries are all gonna die off because the function of the battery management system is to ensure that all the batteries charge and discharge at the same rate. They get a cycle at the same speed. Okay, none is charging faster than the other. So that's essentially the function of a battery management system. So as you can see, there's zero presence of any form of battery management system here. There's supposed to be an equalizer here. Okay, so what this is going to impact is the fact that after a while, the batteries will all begin to sulfate. Some are gonna be charging more than the others, while some are gonna be under charging, and that will ultimately make the lifespan of this battery not to last as much as it should, okay? So we have a very angry dog right there. And now I'm looking at the wires that was used to do the connection for the batteries. The, ba the wires are pretty much undersized um, for each strength. So you can see that this battery, these wires are undersized. So if you have a lot of energies flowing into this battery, you're definitely going to experience resistance on this battery because the cable sizing is pretty much on the size. So that needs to be addressed as well. I mean, you guys can already see for yourself, it's very untied in terms of the connection. All right, so it, this is supposed to have been properly tidied up with uh, very big trunkings that will ensure that all these wires that you're seeing here 
are all properly concealed. So one of the things I've discovered right now is the fact that it's not even about the battery not holding up charge, it's the fact that the batteries are not charging as much as it should. So when I clamp this cable that is sending energy down to the batteries to charge them, so you can see that what we have here is 5.0 amps and that's really very low considering the amount of solar panels that we have on the roof. So that in itself is an indication that something is wrong. There's a wrong configuration on the roof. So we'll definitely be going up to the roof right now to bring down at least one sample of the solar panels to look at exactly what the rating of the solar panel is to know if what was supplied is exactly the rating of the solar panel to ensure that all our system designs here in terms of what we're expecting is what is going to be happening. So up on the roof, you have 28 solar panels. You have 14 units of 555 watts, and then you have another unit of 350 watt solar panels. All in all, we have 28 solar panels right on the roof. And I guarantee you guys that these batteries are gonna be holding up power by the time we are done. Okay, so we have the solar panels down here. Um, this is 550 watt solar panel. This is a Jinko solar panel. I've confirmed them. This is original solar panel right here. Uh, but this too, um, the gentleman was told that the entire solar panel that was given to him was divided into two banks. One of the bank is 550 watts and the other bank is 350 watts. But we're discovering that you have a mixture of different solar panels. So this, we're discovering that this is a 200 watt solar panel and this right on the ground is 350 watt solar panel. So you have a mixture of solar panels going on around here, uh, which isn't supposed to be. So let's look at the sticker at the back and see what's going on. Um, the gentleman also confirmed that the solar panels, this particular set of this bank weren't brand new when it was bought. Okay, so it's actually 300. Okay, so that's what it is. 300 watt solar panel. Right over there is a 200 watt solar panel, but a gentleman was promised 350 watt solar panel in one bank and then you have 550 watts in one bank. So one of them, which is a 550 watts, which I've been able to confirm, that that particular one is original. So for this one, it might be original, but the ratings are lower than what it was promised. It was supposed to have 350 watts in one bank and 550 watts in one bank. But this is 300 watts, and the other one that you have over there is 200 watts. All right, so let's look at a couple of things that was done wrong that we've been able to discover that was the problem. Number one is that we went downstairs, brought down the solar panels, and we saw that they were mixing a lot of solar panels together. Up on the roof, we have 550 watt solar panels, we have 300 watt solar panels, and then we also have 200 watt solar panel. So the mixture of these different wattages of solar panel is affecting the energy output and is affecting the energy that is coming down to this system. That's number one. Number two is the fact that on these batteries that you don't have any form of battery equalizer, which is a battery management system. All right, and number three, guys, these charge controllers have the wrong settings configuration uh, done for them. So it's meant to be configured with the right settings to be able to charge the battery at the right voltage and the right current, and of course, periodically equalize the batteries as well. But we are noticing that the settings here are wrong. So we will need to change the settings so that the right amount of energy can be released down into the system to be able to charge the battery. So that's number three. Then number four, you have the wrong sizings of circuit breakers here. So down here you have 100 amps by 80 volts circuit breaker in this place. That's pretty wrong because you have over 250 volts that is coming from the solar panels connected to these guys and it's meant to pass through this circuit breaker. So if this circuit breaker is rated 80 volts, how exactly is 250 volts and above supposed to pass through it. So that in itself is causing resistance and restrictions on the amount of energies that you have here. So all of this is what is affecting the energy flow right here. Uh, the gentleman who owns the property has ordered for 
another set of 550 watts so that we can take off the 300 watts and the 200 watts so that they can get to flow at the same current and the same voltage but there's something that happened uh the gentleman says is this my system really a modern system is anything i can do to give it a facelift and i told him it's a very complicated system in the sense that you have 16 batteries here if anything happens to one of the batteries which is likely to happen the entire system is going to go down and this guy is also not energy efficient at all so this inverter alone takes over four kilowatt from these batteries and that's pretty bad okay on just idle mode or self mode this inverter takes four kilowatt from the battery so that's not energy efficient at all this is a modern system and this is what it's supposed to look like so we're going to replace this entire thing the inverter the charge controllers with just one unit that has everything it's a hybrid inverter and it's from Anen and it's pretty pretty good stuff so it can kick in the energy and get the batteries properly charged uh, the way it should so if you guys stay with us we're gonna tidy up this entire place we will need to rewire this entire batteries put in battery equalizers and make it really good so we're gonna make the wires neat and tidy properly trunk it bring in some mcbs to add change these circuit breakers and put what is supposed to be there the proper size and we got all that here okay we'll introduce another breaker box here as well make all these things tidy and voila it's gonna look very good so stay close guys so we're turning everything off to begin to do this connection. So we are taking off this inverter right here. We're removing it. Okay. So one charge controller is down, so let's go get the second one. Okay. Whoops. The wall is flat, it means everything is down. So let's start putting in the new stuff. All right, so the first thing I would have to do here is to take off the PV cover. So this is designed to protect the PVs um, uh, the PV connection terminals from any form of impact during transit. So that's the very first thing you need to take off. Then the connections would have to be connected to this MC4 connectors that you have here. Um, so this guy has two strings. Okay, so he has PV1 and he has PV2. So uh, we have two strings that is coming down from the roof all the way down here from the solar panels to get into this guy and it starts kicking the energy and all that. <laughs> it will be fun, guys. So just stay close. All right, so we're about to start drilling the um, wall so that we can put on the, um, the inverter and other things like the breaker boxes and all of that in here. But we just discovered that we can't drill with this because this has to be plugged to the um, power. And we've, and we've pretty much disconnected everything. <laughs> so that's very frustrating right now. But we're gonna use this other hand drill to try to drill it and see what happened. Yeah, looking pretty good. Okay, so the inverter is up there, ready to go, ready to kick. So it shouldn't just be about the functional value. Aesthetically, it should also look pleasing in the eye when you look at it. Alright guys, so it does look like we're making progress. So everything is pretty much on the wall, the bus bar, the breaker box. So we got this new breaker box and this is the old one that we met on site. So we got the same thing so that they all can look the same way. Alright, so everything pretty much is done. The trunking also is being put in here. So we want to turn this high voltage connection right now into low voltage connection. So we would have to connect it in uh, four different banks, making it 16 batteries in all. So we have four parallels of 48 volts so that's what we're trying to configure now so each of the bank is going to have to stand alone then we get to like parallel them so that's the configuration we want to do now So 
So for each of these cables, they all have to be the same size. Very important. They all have to be the same size and the same length. So the reason why the wires have to be the same length is that it will enable the voltage and the current to travel the same length, giving all the batteries the same equal amount of voltage, the same equal amount of current. None is going to be disadvantaged. everybody so we're done right now so this is what it looks like so the hybrid inverter is in place uh, so this is a hybrid inverter so it's a 10.2 kva so this is a dc circuit breaker combiner box and this is the ac circuit breaker combiner box so everything is in place right now okay so that's what it looks like so let's commission this guy are you guys ready i'm hoping there's not going to be any explosion <laughs> pray for me all right so here we go. So we have our guy coming on for the very first time. Okay, so we had to get the same breaker box uh, that looks like what we met here. So this is the one that we met right here. And this is the new one we got. So we wanted them to synergize. So that's why we got the same breaker box to make it all look the same thing. So this is 5.30 p.m. in the evening right here. That's when we finish this stuff. So this is the energy that we are generating at this time. Um, the sun is almost gone. It's almost uh, going to 6 o'clock. All right, so everything pretty much checks out. Everything looks good at this time. So they'll keep monitoring it. Thank you, everybody, for being part of this. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. If you need your system checked on, you brought in a lot of people. There seem to be a lot of issues. Nobody's giving you the right answer. The system is still not good. You know what to do. Give us a call or you can write us through our website or you can send us a DM or you can send us a message and we'll be right there. Thank you guys so very much. Don't forget to subscribe. That's how you support this work that we're doing and we fully appreciate it, okay? Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and do not forget to share. See you guys in the next video.